Welcome back to Linode. I'm your friendly developer advocate, Gardner. Today we're going to review how to roll your own Plex instance on a Linode server. If you're not familiar, Plex is a media streaming um, hub for your home. If you own DVDs and CDs, if you own media, you can actually rip them to your own uh, backup server and stream them to yourself anywhere in the world. Uh, Plex is super useful. It's something that I use every day. And uh, so let's talk about how to actually set one up on Linode. The only thing that you're going to need before we get started is a Plex account. So head to plex.tv and create your account. It's pretty straightforward. So the first thing you wanna do is log into your Linode Cloud dashboard. On the left side of the page, click Marketplace, and then we're going to select Plex from the list. So you need to create a limited user. This is not the root user of your Linode. This is a user that the Plex service will run under in Linux. So I'm just gonna say Plex user and you need to create a password for uh, this user. Under advanced options, you can add a limited user SSH key. Um, you don't have to do that. The region is where your Plex server is going to reside. Uh, the closer it is to you, the less lag you're gonna have. So I would go ahead and select New York, Newark, New Jersey since I'm in the Northeast United States. For this Linode to function properly, you're going to need a minimum of two gigabytes. That's according to Linode's documentation. So we'll just click on that. From here, you can give uh, your Linode a label. You can give it a tag, so we could say media. And this is just to keep things organized. And you're gonna have to provide a root password. So let's go ahead and click the create button. Uh, your Linode will start to provision. And uh, once it's done, you'll be able to move on to the next step. And you know, if you like this video, hit that like button, it really helps us out. You can also hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the cool, awesome tutorials and other information that we have here on our channel. Thanks. All right, it looks like our Linode is done provisioning. So let's move on to the next step. Because we picked the two gigabyte Linode, we actually have are limited to 50 gigabytes of storage on our Linode. That is unless we configure block storage. So that's what we're gonna do here. Now, if you only have uh, 50 or fewer gigabytes of, of media that you wanna store on here, you can skip this step. But if you wanna store more media on your Linode, block storage is a great and affordable way to do it. So let's click on create and then choose volume. We need to provide a label. So let's call this media storage. And uh, we can select what size we want. So we select the size that we need. Uh, 20 gigabytes is priced at $2 a month and that scales linearly. So if you need 100 gigabytes, you can get it for 10. I will go with 20 though, for the purposes of this demo. Then you're gonna need to select a region and this region should be uh, the same data center that you have your uh, Plex instance in. So we'll click Newark. Then we can select the Linode uh, that we have the Plex instance running on. So go ahead and hit Plex US East. All right, and then we can select a tag just for uh, organizational purposes, we'll say media. And uh, then we can hit create. All right, and we get some helpful information here. So we can copy this, um, but I'm gonna go over how to actually set this up uh, later, so we can just hit close. Now we need to wait for our media storage volume to actually initialize and, and there it is right there. So if we go back to our Linodes and we select our Plex server and click on volumes, we should see a path. This is where the volume is actually exposed to the Linux server on your Linode. So the next thing that we're gonna need to do is actually log into our Linode server. So we'll go ahead and open up a terminal and you'll wanna go over to uh, your Linode and copy the IP address. And then we can type in uh, SSH Plex user at and then the IP address that our Linode is running on. And uh, you can say yes here uh, to allow this fingerprint. And then we type in our password that we supplied earlier for the Plex user. Okay, now let's go back to our Linode Cloud Manager, go to volumes and select and copy this path. And then we can go here back to our terminal and we can type in so here we can type in mkfs.ext4 and then we can uh, so paste in the path name to the volume that we've created. Um, this is going to create a new file system on this volume. So if there's any information on this volume or you're reusing a vo an old volume that you already had on your Linode Cloud Manager, um, this will erase everything that's on that volume. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit Control Shift V. Alternatively, you can right click and hit paste. Uh, and that will supply uh, what you just copied 
into the terminal. Then you can go ahead and hit enter. And there we go, we've created an ext4 file system on our block storage. Okay, so now what we need to do is uh, type in uh, mkdir and then a tilde with a slash plex slash media slash Linode volume and hit enter. Now we type in sudo mount and then we will uh, go back here and we'll grab our path. We'll hit paste and then again, we'll do tilde slash plex media Linode volume, hit enter. And now we have our Linode volume mounted. Now that's a manual process, but if we wanted to have our Linode volume mount automatically when we first start our Linode, um, can, you know, if there's ever a reset or anything that has to happen, we can actually do uh, just that. We can type in sudo nano, etc. F tab. Oops, that's not right. We can type in sudo nano, etc. FS tab. There we go. File system tab. And what we can do here is we can paste in the file system path. And then we can type in the path that we want. So home slash plex user slash uh, media uh, slash plex slash media slash Linode dash volume. And then we do ext4 because that's the file system type. And we can do defaults. That's defaults with an S and then zero and two. And uh, what that's going to do is it's going to basically run the mount command uh, with those arguments and we'll just go ahead and hit control X uh, to quit. And then we'll hit yes, because we want to save and then press enter to save back to that same file. And the last thing we need to do is do Docker restart Plex and Plex should restart. And there we go. All right, so now we're going to exit. And now what we want to do is use SCP to copy files from our local machine to our remote server. Now, there are many, many, many ways to copy files from your local machine to the remote server, but SCP is the simplest one. It doesn't require any extra configuration on our end. Uh, and if you're on Linux, this is a great way to, to copy files from your local machine. All right, so now what we need to do is actually CD into our local music directory. And you can see here that I have some, uh, albums and artists that I really like. Just a few, not a whole lot. Um, but what we do now is actually really simple. Uh, so we'll do SCP and then we'll do dash R space asterisk. And what that's gonna do is it's going to uh, copy all the files in this directory. And the dash R means that it's going to copy all files recursively down the directory structure from where we are. So we're already in uh, the music directory here. So any directory underneath music is also going to be recursively copied uh, with the SA, uh, SCP program to wherever we tell it to go. So what we'll do now is we'll type in plex user at, and then we'll type in our IP address, and then we'll do colon slash uh, home plex user, so that's our home directory for the Plex user we created, slash Plex, which is the directory that uh, is used by the Docker image, slash media, and then Linode volume. Now you might recognize this as the mount point where we actually mounted our block storage. And so we're telling SCP to upload all of the files in this directory to that directory on the remote server. Now we can just hit enter and type in our password, of course. And there we go, we're copying our files. Um, that's pretty awesome. This might take a while depending on how fast your internet is. I've got rather decent internet here. Uh, so we're copying about two and a half megabytes a second. I don't have a whole lot of media on this machine that I'm copying, this is all demo stuff. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's let this go. And there we go, we've copied all the files in our music directory on our local machine to our Plex server. There's one more thing that we have to do. We actually have to configure Plex. We're actually going to create an SSH tunnel. So we're gonna do SSH and then Plex user at the IP address of our Linode. Then we're going to space dash L and we'll do 8888 colon localhost and then 30, 
to 400. Now what this command does is it actually SSHs us back into our Linode and then it pipes all of the uh, data coming through port 34, uh, 32400 on our remote machine and pipes it back to our local machine on port 8888. So we'll type in our password here. And then what we can do is we can switch over to our web browser, create a new tab, type in localhost, and then 8888 slash web, hit enter, and there we go. We have now uh, logged into our Plex server software. Now we need to make sure that we have signed in to our Plex account on our Plex server. So we'll go ahead and hit sign in. And here we go, we have the welcome screen. So we can click got it. Now what we need to do, we can skip the Plex Pass stuff. If you use Plex, you probably have a Plex Pass. Close that. And we can give it a name. Uh, Linode Plex server is just fine here. You wanna make sure that you have allow me to access my media outside my home checked. Uh, that's pretty important. <laughs> click next. Now you can click add library here if you'd like. So now that we got everything configured there, we can actually copy this IP address, open a new tab, and then type in colon uh, 32400. All right, so now we're in the Plex web interface and we wanna add our files. So let's go ahead and click on settings in the top right here. And then we'll go down to manage libraries, click add a library, choose whatever type of file you're trying to add. I'm gonna select music because that's what I've uploaded. And we can click next, choose browse, and we'll go down to, uh, let's see, media and then Linode volume and hit add. All right, they're scanning, and now we're scanning our content. We have various artists. We have Alt J, we have Arcade Fire, and that's exactly what we wanted. Let's click on various artists because this won't get copyright claimed on YouTube. <laughs> and we can just hit play. And there we go. We've got music playing through our Plex server. How cool is that? All right, well, I think that's gonna do it. We learned how to set up block storage on Linode. We learned how to set up a Plex server. We learned how to configure the Plex server to see our media. And uh, we learned how to copy our media from our local machine to our remote server. I think that's more than enough for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, hit that like button. And if you really liked it, you can hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one and have a great day.